Hi yogis, Lorraine Shrey here, ready to bring you a nice energizing flow today. And I am back in Texas. I think the last video you saw, I was in Colorado um, visiting my son and we were at the beautiful base of the Flatiron Mountains and it was so amazing. So I thought I would try to do another one out here in Texas outside. Um, got a neighborhood park that I'm at and it just feels wonderful out here. So enjoy your practice with me today and um, we will concentrate on maybe holding postures a little bit longer today and um, just listen to my cues on modifications and variations and you will be just fine. So let's find our way into a child pose. So you're on your knees at the back of your mat. Big toes are together. Let's separate our knees and extend your arms really long out in front of you. And just settle down there. Just knowing this is your place where you're starting your practice, where you're coming to an awareness of your breath, since the breath and movement is what our yoga journey is all about. About listening to your body, not forcing anything, listening to my cues for variations, for modifications. So close down your mouth and just inhale through your nose, feeling the breath go down the back of the nasal cavity, down the back of the throat, filling and expanding the lungs, feeling the rib cage move. And then on the exhale, in the reverse, make that a really long exhale, longer than your inhale. And then just continue that nice breath and movement together as you warm up internally, provide the energy that you will use for your practice. So from your child pose, staying right here where you are, take your right hand over to the right side of the mat and then take your left hand on top. And then you should feel a nice stretch in the side on the left. Allow your hips to really settle down into your heels best you can. And then let's switch and take the left hand over and take the right hand on top. Just lengthen right there. Feeling the wonderful stretch in the ribs and the side. And then let's just go back to the center. So going back to the center and just stay right here. And so just for a moment, I want you to come to some sort of uh, mindful, deliberate intention with your practice today. In other words, maybe honor your practice to someone to yourself and bring joy and gratitude to your movement that you are about to engage in. Let's rise up to a tabletop. And then my favorite new posture is to extend our leg, one leg at a time out to the side and hinge back into a half a child pose. Because I love the way that it stretches our inner thigh. You have to really recognize that you can relax the quadricep muscle. Maybe you're even up on the elbows, that's okay. Whichever is available for you, whichever is allowing you to feel and settle into the postures. So then wherever you are, rise up and then lift up that right leg, bring it to the back and then little circles. Go in the other direction, little circles. And then let's go back to a tabletop. Take the left leg out to the side, hinge that right hip back to the right heel, extend long, release, relax that out, that quadricep. And then let's rise up, lifting that left leg and then circling the hip. There you go. And then let's go to a tabletop. Gently 
Turn the fingers towards the knees so that you can feel a nice stretch in the forearm. And then come on, shake the wrist out, shake the wrist out, that's it. So let's extend the right leg to the back and then the left arm to the front. So, but while we're doing that, let's make sure the wrist and the shoulder are in alignment on this arm so that we're not sinking down or not out of alignment over here. Just really be being aware of your postures. So as we extend the left arm and the right leg, we lengthen our spine, then we exhale, bring the elbow knee together. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, come together. Inhale, lengthen, exhale together. One more time. Inhale, lengthen and grow. And then back to tabletop, switching side. Extend the left leg, the right arm, Inhale, grow, exhale, elbow, knee come together. Inhale, grow, exhale, knee come together. Inhale, grow, exhale together. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, back to a tabletop. Now let's tuck our toes under in the back and just rise up to a downward facing dog. So, yogis, we know this downward facing dog, imagining the shape of V is in Victor, or a camping tent, but knowing that your V is going to look way different than somebody else's, maybe your V is a little longer, maybe your arms are a little wider, depending on the tightness of our shoulders, depending upon your height. And let's walk the dog out, press the heels down. So in yoga, we never worry or we never compare ourselves to somebody else's postures and the way a certain posture looks. This is a journey. Hold that downward facing dog. Take a gaze at the front and just walk to the back of your hands and there's your forward fold. Let the back of the neck hang heavy. On an inhale, lift up halfway. Flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Now your hands are a paintbrush as you brush your arms. Hands on your legs. And then open up to the top of that mountain. Lengthen, grow tall. Exhale, over to the left. Kind of give that right wrist a little tug. Inhale, top of the mountain. Exhale, over to the other side. Inhale, top of the mountain. Exhale, God is over those arms. Come on down, stay right here. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, walk your feet to the back of your mat. And then let's go to a tabletop for a little bit of a spinal movement for cat cow. Drop the belly, tilt the tailbone, take the eyes gaze up. There's your inhale. There's your cow. Exhale to a cat. Round your shoulders up a lot. Tuck your hips under a lot. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. And then find our way back to a nice flat table tuck. Tuck the toes up. We go to downward facing dogs. Your letter V, remember? Let's inhale the right leg to the sky. Bend the knee. Now, look on the inside of the right arm. So not the outside, but the inside and see if you can rotate your hip. So try not to just open up the knee, but really open up the hip. And then square the hip out, hinge forward, bring your knee into your nose and hold it. Inhale to the sky. 
Exhale, knee to right elbow and hold. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, knee to left elbow and hold. Inhale to the sky. Bring the big toes together, other side. So inhale that left leg, bend the knee, and then open up the hip. So there's a difference between just bending the knee and opening the knee up. And see if you can lift up and rotate the hip. And then square your hips out. Hinge forward, knee comes into nose and hold. Now right knee can absolutely be on the floor for modification. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, bring your big toes together. Now take a gaze at your hands and just hinge forward into a plank or a tabletop yogis. Either way. And then do a low push up, bend the elbows, low push up all the way down to the chest and the belly. Slide a little bit forward and open up the heart. Upward facing dog. Keep the elbows right by your ribs. Exhale down to a cobra. Inhale, elbows stay by the ribs, upward facing dog. Warming up for a chaturanga. Exhale down to a cobra. Inhale to the upward facing dog, tuck a foot up. We go to downward facing dog. Oh my goodness, there we go. So let's inhale the right leg to the sky. Exhale, bend your knee, bring your knee into your nose, and step your foot in on the inside of the right hand. The back heel stays lifted high. Try not to lean into that front leg. Maybe come up on the tips of the fingers so your ribs are not resting on the front leg as we prepare to rise. Take those arms behind you and then inhale, rise up to crescent. Lengthen, feel a nice stretch in that back hip. Exhale, hands to heart center and then humble warrior. Hop the back foot in just a little bit. Now lengthen and reach up to warrior three. Take a big step to the back. Press and drop the back heel. Open up to warrior two. Reach palm to the sky. Inhale and reverse. And then exhale, cartwheel. One hand's on either side of your foot. Take the front foot to the back. Hold your plank or tabletop, and now let's add the chaturanga. We take our shoulders over the fingers. We do a low push up to the chest and the belly. Open up the heart. There's your chaturanga. Tuck one foot up, we go to downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg. Exhale, bend the knee, step through. Left foot goes on the inside of the left hand, making sure that that those ribs are not resting on the front leg, on the fingertips. So you feel yourself grounded and stable. Now reach those arms behind you and then inhale to your crescent. Exhale, hands to heart center. Humble warrior. Step the foot in just a little bit and then lengthen up to your warrior three. Big giant step back into crescent. Drop the back heel, rotate open to warrior two. Reach forward, palm to the sky, inhale, reverse. And then exhale, cartwheel, one hand on either side of your foot. Front foot to the back, knees or toes, shoulders over the fingers, low push up to the chest, the belly, the hips, open the heart. There's your chaturanga, tuck a foot. Adding on, yogis, inhale the right leg. Exhale, bend the knee, step through, rise up all the way to crescent, lengthen. Exhale, hands to heart center. Humble warrior. Either step that foot in or rise up to your warrior three. Adding a half moon, right arm to the floor, left arm to the sky. Maybe a block right here. Giant step back into the warrior two, reaching forward to reverse. Now exhale, cartwheel the arms, rotate, pivot on the back foot, left hand to the floor, right hand up to the sky. Make sure you've got 
that stability in this left arm right here so you're not sinking in. Opening up the ribs. And then rotate one hand from the other side of the foot. Take the front foot to the back. Add your Chaturanga Yogis or maybe you skip it. And we all meet up in our downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg. Exhale, bend the knees. Step through, rising up to crescent. All the way, lengthen. Exhale, hands to heart center. Humble warrior. Either hopping that foot up or just rising into your warrior three. Left arm towards the floor, right arm towards the sky. Half moon. Big giant step back through warrior two. Into reverse. Cartwheel the arms, pivot on the back foot. Revolving side angle. Gaze down at your foot. Take the left leg to the back. Those splashes are the ducks in the pond. Do your chaturanga. Low push up, chest, belly. Open up the heart, tuck the foot, adding on yogis. Here we go. Inhale the right leg. Exhale, bend your knee, step through. Rising up to your crescent, lengthen. Exhale, hands to heart center. Humble warrior. Lifting up to that warrior three or whatever your variation is. Half moon. Step back into your warrior three, going through two, going through to reverse. Heart with those arms, pivot on the back foot, free ball. Left hand to the floor, right hand up to the sky. Here's the add on yogis. Taking that front leg to meet the back leg. Side plank. That left knee can be on the floor for sure. And wherever your variation of your side plank is. Then we rotate to the front. Adding your chaturanga from the toes. From the knees. Maybe we skip it. Up to downward facing dog. Other side. Inhale the left leg. Exhale, bend the knee, step through. Rising up to your crescent. Exhale, hands to heart center. Humble warrior. Adding the warrior three. Your variation. Adding the half moon. Big giant step back through warrior two into reverse. with the arms, pivot on the back foot, revolve. Here's that add on yogis. Take the front foot to the back. As always, making sure we're not sinking into the shoulder. Bottom knee can be on the floor for sure. Rotate to the front, add your chaturanga, low push up. Open up the heart. Hock a foot, up we go to downward facing dog. So yogis, let's do that flow one more time. Inhale the right leg. Exhale, bend the knee, step through. Rise up, crescent, there's your inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. Humble warrior. Find your variation of warrior three. Find your half moon. Stepping back through warrior two into reverse. Cart with those arms, pivot on the back foot, revolving. Front foot to the back, side plank. Rotating to the front, chaturanga. <clears throat> Open the heart. Tucking the foot up, we go to down dog. Inhale the left leg. Exhale, bend the knees, step through, rising up, crescent. Hands to heart center, humble warrior, finding your warrior three, finding your half moon, stepping back through warrior two into reverse. Heart will pivot on the back foot. 
Right hand to the floor, left hand up to the sky. Bringing that front foot to the back. Remember those, that bottom leg can be on the floor. Your variation of side plank. Rotate. Add your chaturanga. Low push up, chest, belly. Hold the upward facing dog. And then press back to a child pose. Right there. Energizing flow, yogis. Trying to hold the posture just a little bit longer. Recognizing what's available in you today, since this is a journey. And every day we're on our mat is a different chapter. So let's rise up to a tabletop, tuck your toes, and just come on up to like crouching tiger. Just to a crouching tiger right here. And then rise up to a downward facing dog. Back to the crouching tiger. Up to the downward facing dog. Crouching tiger. Down dog. Crouching tiger. Down dog and then stay right here. Take a gaze at your hands and then just step, walk, jump to the back of your hands. There's your forward fold. Now inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees a lot. Reach in front of you for chair pose. So again, chair pose is gonna look different for everyone depending upon the width of your hips. If you're comfortable with your feet together, maybe you need those feet a little bit wider. Either way, we're settling down, but we're trying to keep our hips square, and we're trying to keep our knees stable. So behind the big toe. Yeah. So chair pose. Can you extend your left leg out for a single leg chair pose? Palms to the floor, hinge forward, pendulum that leg through into an airplane. Now reach those arms back out in front of you, hands together, elbow to knee for four. leg to the back. Add your chaturanga or maybe skip it. Low push up. Open the heart. Tuck a foot up. We go to downward facing dog. So downward facing dog. Crouching tiger. Downward facing dog. Crouching tiger. Downward facing dog. Crouching tiger. Down dog. Crouching tiger. Last one. Hold your downward facing dog. Bend your knees. Step walk to the back of your hands. Jump to the back of your hands. However you are going to get there. 
Inhale, lift half. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, reach in front of you. Chair pose. Relax those shoulders down. Find your feet grounded into the floor. A little bit of making sure we're not arching our back, but a little bit of a pelvic tilt right there. And then this time, let's take the right foot out. One-legged chair pose. Palms to the floor, pendulum that leg to the back. Airplane. Reach those arms in front. Palms together, elbow to knee for four. Three. There's two. There's one and hold. Step all the way back, straighten out the front leg. Hold that right wrist, falling star. Dropping the back knee if you need to. Add that bind. Open up the heart. Wanting to add that bird of paradise, you would step in. Come up on the left toes. And then rise up. yogis place that foot on the floor left hand to the floor right leg way to the back there's your reach 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 and then rotate one hand on either side of the foot take the front foot to the back hold the plank and let's rise up to downward facing dog shall we do that one more time I think we should hinge forward into your crouching tiger up to the down dog Crouching tiger, down dog, crouching tiger, down dog and hold it here. Bend those knees, take a gaze at your hands, step walk, float or jump to the back of your hands. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold, bend the knees, reach in front of you, chair pose. One-legged chair pose, left leg. Palms to the floor, hinging, penduluming that leg into your airplane. Reach those arms in front, palms together. And four, three, two, one. Hold it here. Step back, grab that right wrist. Straighten out those legs, falling star. Reach back. Bend that front knee a lot over into your side angle. Adding that bind, wrapping the back, top arm around the back, threading the front arm through, opening up the heart. Option for that bird of paradise. Step in, rising up on the right toes. Taking the gaze in front, taking your time. Bending that knee if you're in bird of paradise, wherever you are. That right foot is on the floor, right hand is on the floor, left leg is to the way back, opening that left arm to the sky. And then pivot, one hand's on either side. Let's just go to the downward facing dog. Over to the crouching tiger. Down dog. Crouching tiger. Down dog. Crouching tiger. One more time, down dog, hold your down dog. 
bend your knees, step off, float or jump to the back of your hands. Inhale, lift half. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, reach in front of you, chair pose. One-legged chair pose. Palms to the floor, pendulum your way back into that airplane. Reach those arms in front, palms together. Elbow to knee for four. Here's three. There's two. There's one and hold it. Big giant step back, straighten out the front leg, grab that left wrist. Falling star, reach in the back. And then bend that front knee a lot, release. Side angle. Option for the bind. Wrap the top arm around the back. Thread the front arm through. Open the heart. Maybe adding your bird of paradise. See how we do on this side. bent, right leg all the way back, right arm to the sky, and then rotate, one hand on either side of your foot, bring the front foot to the back and just hold it there, let's fire up the core yogi some more, so on your knees or on your toes, we're going to tap our shoulders, eight counts, are you ready, pull the right left side of the core together, a little bit of a pelvic tilt in the hips, Shoulders and wrist in alignment. Eight, seven, six, five. There is four. There is three. There is two. There is one and one and hold it. Oh my gosh, up to a downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg to the sky. Bend your knee. Now look over to your left. So remember, when we bend the knee, now I want you to open up the hips. Looking to the left and lift that right arm up off the floor and you'll flip your dog. Bend the knees and hips right back up. We go to a three-legged dog. Bring the big toes together. Other side, inhale the left leg. Bend the knee, open the hip, looking to the right on the inside, not the outside. Looking on the inside and then lift that left arm and flip your dog. Bend the knees and hips right back up. We go to a three-legged dog. And then from here, bring your left knee into your nose. Take your left foot over by your right ankle and just lower down into a pigeon. Yeah. Open up the heart. And then find your pigeon, whether you forward fold and those arms go all the way long or maybe you just go to your elbows, whatever is comfortable for you so that you can settle down into your pigeon. Anytime we're trying to increase our flexibility with stationary, static moves, we want to really be aware of our breath so that we can take the breath to parts of the body that maybe feel the stress and try to allow that breath to just release and let go and allow you to settle down into your posture. Therefore, you're increasing, hopefully, your flexibility, your range of motion over time. It's a process, yogis. That's why yoga is so wonderful. It's a journey. It's never ending. Let's rise up. So let's stay on the back leg and we'll thread the front leg through with, and circle the hips. 
So just any kind of movement for the hips. Go forwards and backwards, circling both ways. There we go. Okay. So let's go back to tabletop on the other side. Tuck the toes up and go to down dog. Inhale the right leg. Exhale, bend your knee into the nose. Take that right foot over towards the left wrist and then lower down, opening up the heart. Noticing already maybe the right and left side are so much different. How about your forward fold? Which is your range? Which is your place in this forward fold on the other side? breath and allowing everything to settle in. Staying on that back knee, threading the front leg through, and then circling the hips. Going in both directions, front and back. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's tuck our toes, tabletop, tuck your toes under, rise up to your down dog. And then just take a gaze at the hands. Bend the knees, step, walk, float, or jump to the back of the hands. Inhale, lift half. Exhale, forward fold. Your hands are a paintbrush and you're brushing your legs as you rise up. Inhale, lengthen to the top of the mountain, grow tall. Exhale, hands to heart center as we balance in our tree pose. So let's rotate the right hip. And all the variations, yogis, you choose yours. Foot on the ankle, on the calf maybe all the way up on the inner part of the thigh. Opening the heart, lengthening the spine, shoulders are up, back and down. And let's open the branches on an inhale. Bend the knee, bring the knees together. 
together, place the feet on the floor, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. And let's go ahead and have a seat. Yogi's all the way on the floor. Give yourself a well-deserved hug. So both knees are bent right now. Let's extend the right leg. Just hold on to the calf, the ankle, the arch of the foot, or the toe. Wherever you are. And open up. Just see what range you can get with a little hamstring stretch. Trying not to have really rounded shoulders, but opening up. And then from here, yogis, have a nice controlled hold on this leg and see if you can extend. So lift up the bent leg, I mean the opposite leg bent, and then maybe you could extend it straight. So you just do what's going to work for you. And holding it here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Woo! Bend both knees. Give yourself a hug. That's a tough one. All right, open up the heart. Extend that left leg wherever you're going to. Hold it. Doesn't matter. Get your hamstring stretch. Again, try not to be too hunched in the back. Maybe holding and opening up the heart. And then wherever you are holding your leg, have a nice controlled grip. And then let's lift the other leg. Maybe it stays bent. Wherever you are, we're holding it for eight counts. Maybe you extend it straight for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and then lower both legs down, feet together, open up the knees into a butterfly, and then just hinge forward. Put your elbows on top of the inner thigh and maybe just little movement side to side. Oh, this should feel good. Or just stay here. Maybe some deliberate pressing, gentle, pressing into the inner thighs. Just opening up the hips. And then let's release. Reach behind, pull those knees together. Extend the left leg and let's add a final twist. So same arm goes behind you. Inhale, lengthen to the sky, the opposite arm. Cross over, pull that knee into the heart. Take your gaze behind you. Inhale, lengthen, and then we'll switch sides. So cross that foot over. Same arm is in the back as the leg that is bent, and lengthen. toes. This is your journey. As long as you're listening to your body, not forcing anything, but taking yourself out of your comfort zone is always a good thing. Maybe each time you practice, try something that makes you feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Takes you out of your comfort zone. And that could be just getting to your mat on any particular day, right? Yeah. Let's slowly come on up. Bring the knees with you. And then let's slowly lower down one little vertebrae at a time. And take those feet as wide as your mat. Take your arms down by your side for a half a bridge. So let's try to keep our knees and our ankles in the same line. 
And then depending upon your, the width of your hips and the, the flexibility in your hips, how wide your feet will be. So arms are pressing into the floor, feet are pressing into the floor, and lift the hips up to the sky. So we should be on our shoulders, not forcing our neck with anything. You should be able to just really relax those, those muscles in the front of your neck have a big giant name, sternocleidomastoid. <laughs> it's a big giant name for the muscles in the front of your neck. So we wanna relax those. And then here you could uh, clasp your fingers and kind of shimmy your shoulders underneath and lift those hips up high. Or you could make a kickstand with your elbows. And then of course anybody that has a full wheel or back bend in their practice very safely, maybe going up for three seconds and coming down for three seconds. And then as long as you promise me that on your way down you bring your chin into your chest so that you don't compromise the back of your neck, all right? If you're going to do a full wheel, a full back bend. elbows, back of the head, the neck, the shoulders, and coming down. So always safety. Get, wherever you are, yogis, come on down to your back and give yourself a hug. We all like hugs, right? And we deserve hugs. So yeah. So from here, just extend the legs up to the sky. So you're kind of like in an L shape. Yeah. And this inversion, changing of the blood flow could be just fine or if you'd like you could use momentum lift the hips up go into a shoulder stand remember shoulder not neck so you might use a little bit of momentum up you go into that shoulder stand and then when you're up here you could play it's a free-for-all up here whatever you like any kind of movement or none and then another option would be to plow whether you're up in a shoulder stand or your lower back is on the floor you bend the knees bring them into your chest or take them down by your shoulders down by your ears and you just give your belly a big squeeze yeah Okay, yogis, wherever you are, keep your knees super close as we slowly lower down. Ah, one little vertebrae at a time. And then wherever you are, if you can grab a toe, an arch of the foot, an ankle, maybe a shin, whichever. Bend the knees a lot. Bend the elbows a lot. Lower back is on the floor. And opening up the hips and then little tiny movements. For happy baby side to side my view is beautiful yogis looking up into the sky the perfect weather so wonderful back in dallas texas find your way to the center release and then pull your knees together Tee out your arms, and with your knees at 90 degrees, drop them over to the left. And yogis, whatever variation that you like here, you could eagle your legs, right? Or you could bend one leg and straighten the other, so the top leg would extend straight. Or you would eagle your legs, just crossing them over. Woo! Take a breath and settle into this twisty, bindy posture. Our spine and our hips really like different dimensions. Most of us most likely in front of a computer sitting for a long period of time. 
with a one-dimensional straightforward direction of your hips. Let's unwind, yogis, wherever you are. Keep your knees together, lift them up and over across your body to the other side into your posture that you choose, your variation that you choose. So yes, yeah, since our hips, just because of the nature of our lives, probably most of the time facing forwards. The wonderful benefit of yoga, one of the wonderful benefits, is the movement of the joints, the directional, dimensional changes. So many benefits that we don't even realize. All of the squeezing of everything inside of our belly, kind of a detoxing, moving our organs around a little bit. Let's unwind if you need to, making sure the knees are on top of each other, up and over across the body to the center, and then extend the legs long down your mat. Let's take our arms up above us and just do a good morning stretch. Lengthen and grow. Big inhale. Pull the shoulders up by the ears. And then exhale the arms down by the side. And then take one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. And just with gratitude, feel the breath on your belly. Maybe you feel the heartbeat in your chest. Yogis, just, I hope that you have a smile on your face and a clarity in your mind, feeling the breath, feeling the heartbeat, knowing that you made a difference today because you moved, you challenged yourself. Wherever you would like those arms to be placed for our Shavasana, find them there. Just lengthening down by my side. Allow your breath to just take a natural rhythm, yogis. Just ignore any external noise distractions. Just let that go, it doesn't matter. You are still here, closing your practice with stillness. Allowing your body to just melt into the ground. Keep your mind present. Keep your thoughts present with your practice and the pride and the gratitude for the movement. Staying in Shavasana Yogis as long as you would like or if you would like to meet me at the top of your mat, seated in a butterfly, in a lotus, hands to heart center, closing down our eyes. If you're seated, recognizing the lengthening of your spine, the shoulders rolling and back, Thank you for practicing with me. Thank you for allowing me to guide you. Let's forward fold, namaste. Thank you, yogis. We'll see you next time.